In this video, I'm going to show you how you can enable QoS or quality of service on your Netgear D7000 router. So we need to get into the router settings. You do this by opening up a web browser. You can use any web browser of your choice. I'm going to be using Firefox. So you need to get into the router by entering this particular address. You enter routerlogin.net. Um, other details will also be on the back of your router. If you don't know how to log in, they will, they will be listed on the back of the router. So just look underneath the router and there should be certain login details. You also need to enter your um, login details such as admin and your password. These will be the password you set up when you first set the router up. If you don't know your password, then you're probably going to have to do a complete reset and go through the whole setup process again. So to turn on QoS, QoS QoS um, improves um, the quality so if lots of people are using the internet and you want to maintain a good kind of speed you want to be able to watch videos online and so on it's a good idea to kind of um, enable QoS so to do this you want to, on the main screen we need to click on advanced and then we want to click on setup and under setup we can see QoS setup so click on that and literally all you have to do is put a tick in the box here, turn internet access QoS on. And then you can choose the upload bandwidth. It's, it's always people, you know, when you upload videos to YouTube or a video sharing website, it's the upload speed which kind of makes the download speed slow. So if you can kind of restrict the upload speed, it will dramatically improve your normal download speed. So if somebody's watching a, a video on the, on the TV from Netflix or whatever, and somebody's uploading to YouTube, it kind of affects the whole kind of um, download speed. So if you limit the upload speed, you will get a better overall service. So by default, it's set to 512 um, KPS. You can also set it to megabytes per second. Normally, most people will have an upload speed of one megabyte per second. If you're on a normal kind of phone line internet service, if you're on fiber, it will probably be around 10 megabytes per second. So by default, I would put it on 512 KPS per second and just see how it goes. Click the apply button, make sure you click the apply button. And then the router may go through a whole kind of um, um, reboot session. And then you should be good to go. So basically that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.